Hi guys, welcome back to Robbie D's Kitchen. I'm Robin and today we're going to be making some bohemian style pea soup. So let's get into the video. So here's an overview of the main ingredients you will need for this recipe. Not included is the oil and the browning, but you'll also need them. As always, measurements and everything used will be down below. So I'm first going to start off with cutting my onion. So you do want to dice it into small pieces. So my water was starting to come to a boil so I added my ribs. Traditionally you would want to get them cut into bite sized pieces but I just used what I had because it will work out the same and they will boil off the bone. And I just added some salt to that water. Next I will be dicing my tomato into big chunks. Once your ribs has come to a complete boil, it should look something like this. Now after your ribs have been boiling for 40 minutes, I am going to strain off some of that water into a bowl because I will be using that broth. Then I will add my ham pieces to boil for an additional 20 minutes with the ribs. To my stock pot, I'm adding some oil and then I'm going to add the onions. So my pot is on medium heat and the ribs is on high heat until it started to boil and then I turned it down to medium low. Just for reference. I did go ahead and add some fine black pepper and salt in there. After my onions have turned translucent, I will be adding in the garlic just because you don't want it to burn. Next, I'm going to add my tomato paste. And after that, I will be adding in my onions, not my onions, my tomatoes. And just giving that a good mix. So now I will be adding some browning in there just to help with the color of the soup. Now I'm just going to let that simmer down for a little bit. Then I'm going to add my peas.
now that broth that we poured out from the ribs i'm gonna add that to my pot and mix it around then i'm gonna let it boil now i'm just gonna be adding more of my seasonings in there which are just black pepper salt and thyme you do want to taste test as you go so you're making sure that you're not adding too much salt now that my ribs and ham are ready to go in the pot i will be adding my scotch bonnet pepper just for some more flavor if you want it spicy you can prick the pepper but i'm not doing any of that then i'll be adding my meat in there also i did add the rest of the water that the meat was boiling in into my pot just to add some more flavor Now you just want to turn your pot on low and let it simmer and now it's time to prep your dough. So for the dough I'll be using my flour, salt, a little bit of sugar that's optional. I just like to add a little bit and then water and you're just going to mix that around until you have a dough but you don't want the dough to be too soft and I guess sticky. You want more of like a tough dough. I add my water a little at a time just so it's not too much water. Then I have to go and add more flour. Once your dough starts to form, you just want to flour your clean surface and pour it out and just knead it for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now it's time to make your little dough boy. So I like to make them the way I remember my daddy and my auntie making it. So I'm just gonna pull a piece off and just roll it in the palm of my hands until I have that little long type of shape. If you want more rounder doughs, you can do that or thinner doughs, you can do that as well. But this is just the way that I like to make it. Once I'm done with the dough boy, I'm going to be adding my sweet potato into my soup. You can add more veggies if you want, like carrots and corn and all that stuff, but I just wanted to add sweet potato this time, so that's what I did. Once the potatoes are basically done, I'm just going to be adding my dough boy in there. And I'm just going to let that cook for about 5 to 10 minutes until it's done or it starts to float at the top like this. So now my soup is done. I'm just going to try and fish out that scotch bonnet pepper. But you can leave it in if you want to. I just don't want to release the spices from it. So there you go, bohemian style pea soup. 
like I said, you can add more veggies if you want. And this soup is really great on its own or you can eat it with rice as well. So as always, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, bye!